I will re- No, let me- What? Start over. I have braces still. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ha! Huh. Shampoo. And, oh gosh. The last, whoa, I, th I just got really white, I feel like. Hey everybody, so today I'm excited for this video because this is my first time to do a products I used up video and I think I've accumulated a decent amount of stuff. You know, it's not like too crazy, but I think it's a pretty good amount of things that I have used up and want to show you guys. I'm also going to tell you if I would repurchase the product or not repurchase it and just kind of give you guys uh, my opinion on the product. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I put everything into this bag right here and yes, it is Lulu bag. Don't judge. I'm going to start with the products that are more directed towards face makeup, different things like that, but things that go on your face. So the first product that I've used up is the Ocean Salt. The first product that I've used up is, oh, my hair's doing a little swirly there. <laughs> Oops. First product that I've used up is the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub from Lush. I am obsessed with Lush. I love pretty much all the products that I've tried so far. This is the 4.2 ounce size one. I went back and repurchased, well so I did repurchase this. I got the bigger size, I think it's an 8 ounce bottle of it. And um, if you get the bigger size you probably get a little bit more for your money. This is a coarse and fine sea salt scrub with organic lime juice to brighten and obviously avocado butter to soften. I love this scrub and I definitely recommend this product. If you're going to Lush for the very first time, I know it can be a little overwhelming because there are so many products in their store, um, but if you're going there for the first time, I definitely recommend trying this out. My next product that I used up is the Revlon Nearly Naked Press Powder and I've had this for a really long time, I feel like, so this has lasted me a while. I have hit pan, that is for sure, on the powder and if you can see there's like a tiny bit around the edges so I'll be able to use this you know a few more times but I definitely need to go out when I get a chance and get me a new powder. I can't decide if I should get this again or if there's a new powder out there that you guys are loving then please tell me down below in the comments what I should go out and get. The next product that I used up is one of my all-time favorites and it is the Boing Benefit Concealer and I'm in the shade O2 and this is what it looks like. I have talked about this basically in every single video having to do with concealer. Um, this is the one I talk about. I also have just a little bit left around the edges so I'm just kind of scraping it out right now. This product is expensive so I want to use as much of it as I can um, but I absolutely love this concealer. I use it for under eye coverage or also um, spots on my face if I have any. I honestly probably will go out and repurchase this again because I love it so much. This is the last makeup product I'm pretty sure. Oh no, there's one other little one but this is the Rocket. The Rocket. Rocket Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline and I've definitely used this all up. I, the label isn't even on here anymore. Um, I am still in love with this mascara. It lengthens and volumizes and does everything I need it to for my lashes and I'm obsessed with it. This is for sure one of my all-time favorite drugstore mascaras and I love it so much. I will definitely be repurchasing this and that'll probably be like my fourth or fifth bottle of this mascara not even kidding and then my last makeup product is something really little but it is the Burt's Bees beeswax lip balm it's soothing cooling and refreshing and I mean just looks like this you know little Burt's Bees tube it's like indented that's how much I've been like scraping it out um, this will probably be one of my favorite chapsticks ever just because it's so soothing, cooling, and refreshing like it says on the bottle, but yeah, so I will be repurchasing this for sure. Alright, so now most of these uh, products that I have left are hair products, and this one is the Batiste Dry Shampoo in Floral and Flirty Blush. I've obviously used this little baby all up. I really like the Batiste Dry Shampoos. They're probably one of my favorite brands 
for dry shampoo. I will be repurchasing this for sure, but just in a different scent probably because I want to try all of them out because there's like multiple scents of these if you haven't tried these already. So I really recommend the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Pacifica Tuscan Blood Orange Body Butter and it is a <laughs> intensely moisturizing cream and I absolutely love the smell of this. Mm, it smells so 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 good. This is a little travel size because I got it in an Ipsy bag I'm pretty sure a few months ago. So yeah, I've loved This lotion. Okay, this one is pretty boring, but I have used it up. It is the Crest Pro Health Clean Night Mint Toothpaste Yeah, I mean it was good. I mean it was toothpaste, you know, can't really love a toothpaste that much. I don't have a whitening one just because I have braces still and I don't want to like whiten my teeth but then still have spots from where my brackets were and whatever. Okay, y'all probably don't care at all so I'm just going to move on. But these are the last two items of my used up product. The Organics Shampoo and Conditioner. Okay, so what I do whenever I run out of you know my shampoo and conditioner this is probably my third or fourth round of the organics line of shampoo and conditioners um, every time I go back to the store to repurchase them I always you know pick a shampoo that I haven't used yet and then I don't get the matching one I just pick a different conditioner that I haven't used yet either so I just kind of mix the two together I don't really pay attention that much to what they do for you because really every single product from the organics hair line does something really good for your hair so I just always pick up a shampoo and conditioner that I haven't tried before and that are also Mitch Mitch match these are the ones that I've used most recently and like I said it's the Awapui ginger shampoo this one I've totally just butchered that I'm sure and then the anti-breakage keratin oil conditioner they smell amazing first of all and they just do really really great things for your hair so I really like experimenting with these and just switching it up like I said and I don't know I really love these babies. Oh, the last product I used up was this Sonic drink. Probably going to go repurchase this. Really good. It's a strawberry fruit slush. I love the pack. I'm just kidding, guys. But I really did basically just finish this. There's only a little bit left. <laughs> What kind of laugh was that? <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And the next time around, if you want me to do another uh, products I used up video, then give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos coming up soon. And it would just mean the world to me. I think I'm going to go now. I hope you guys have a wonderful day slash night. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.